Solve y double prime plus y equals the Dirac delta of t minus 2 pi solution. We'll start by taking the Laplace transform of both sides. When we take the Laplace transform of the left-hand side, we can distribute it through because it's linear. So this is the Laplace of y double prime plus the Laplace of y equals the Laplace of the Dirac delta function t minus 2 pi. So the Laplace of y double prime, there's a formula, okay? The way I memorize it is it always starts with s to whatever number is here. So if it's the second derivative, it starts with, it starts with s squared. If it's the first derivative, it starts with s to the first power. So it's the second derivative, so it's s squared y of s minus s. And then I know it ends at one less derivative. So it has to end at y prime. So this has to be y of 0 minus and then one less derivative. That's just how I memorize it. Um, you can memorize it any way you want. Um, that's my convoluted way of memorizing the formula. Plus, and then this one here is just big Y of s. So again, um, you always start with 2 because it's the second derivative. If it was the third derivative, it would be a 3. And you always end at one less derivative. So if this was the third derivative, you would end at the second derivative. It's the second derivative, so you end at the first derivative. Okay, equals, and then if you recall, the Laplace of the Dirac delta function of t minus t naught, okay, this was e to the negative s t naught. So here t naught is 2 pi. So this is e to the negative 2 pi s. All right. Now we're going to impose or use or invoke our initial conditions here, right? We have to plug these in. So let's see, y of zero equals zero. That's always good. <laughs> and y prime of zero is one. So we have s squared, big Y of s, minus one, because all of this is zero, plus big Y of s, equals e to the negative two pi s. And now we have to solve for big Y of s. So let's do it. So it looks like we'll add the 1 to both sides and factor out big, big pitchfork Y. So pitchfork Y or big Y of s, it's going to be s squared plus 1. And we added this. So it's going to be e to the negative 2 pi s plus 1. Then we just have to divide by this. So let's do it. So we get big Y of S equals, and I'm going to go ahead and divide each piece. So dividing the first piece, we're going to get E to the negative 2 pi S over S squared plus 1. And the reason I did that is because I'm having some foresight here. I, ha I haven't done this problem yet, but I recognize this piece here as very easy to do. The inverse Laplace of this is going to be a sign. That's why I immediately wanted to break it up. Okay. So to work this out, I think we're going to need to use what's called the second translation theorem. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down uh, as a refresher. So the second translation theorem says if you take the inverse Laplace of e to the negative a s big F of s, big F is the Laplace of little f in this formula. That's equal to f of t minus a u of t minus a. Okay, so to use this formula, um, we have to rewrite this a little bit. By the way, this is the Laplace of y. So what we're doing next is we have to find the inverse Laplace of this, and then we're done with the problem. That's why I wrote this formula down, um, because we have to find the inverse Laplace. So y is going to be equal to the inverse Laplace. So I'm going to write this in, in this form so we can see it. It's going to be e to the negative 2 pi s times 1 over s squared plus 1 plus inverse Laplace of 1 over s squared plus 1. Okay, so first a couple things. Let's do some matching here. So a here is going to be 2 pi, right? That's our a right here, just matching stuff with the formula. Big F of S, big F of S 
is 1 over s squared plus 1. So the inverse Laplace of this is, is sine t. That's sine t. Okay. How do I know that? If, if there's a k here, if this was a k and this was a k squared, it'd be sine kt. Cosine has the s, sine has the number. And then, um, so that's, that's little f. Okay, and then a is 2 pi. So I think that's it. I think with this we can finish the problem. Yep, that's it. So this is equal to, let me scroll back up so you can see the formula. There we go. This is equal to, so this one first. So it's going to be f of t minus a. So that's f of t minus 2 pi. That's going to be sine of t minus 2 pi. Right? So it's going to be sine of t minus 2 pi. Okay, sine of t minus 2 pi. Uh, and then the times, the unit step of t minus 2 pi. Plus, and then this here would just be the sine of t. And that's it. Now, I guess you could simplify this. Um, you could use identities or um, like the some of the trig identities, or just you think about it, uh, the period of sine is 2 pi, so if you subtract 2 pi, nothing is really going to happen. This is just sine t unit step of t minus 2 pi plus sine t. And that there would be the solution to the differential equation. I hope that made sense.